Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's October 27th. On our way out here to check trail cameras. Um, and we're going out to the area where I have my muley tag. Also had um, some of the people that live around here have seen, uh, seen a cougar quite a few times now and um, in the area and the cougar's been messing with the horses and some of the livestock, so. There's also lots of coyotes, so. Last time I was in there to set up my camera, I saw three coyotes, so not ideal. Mm. You see? Yeah. Six thirty four in the morning on a Sunday. This is what we like to call an ungodly hour. <laughs> All right, we just got here. Beauty spot, first light. Sun's just rising, you can see that behind me there. Um, but we got lots of snow on the ground, so we're all out in our white camos today. So I haven't seen any yet, but there's uh, lots of tracks and lots of signs through the fresh snow, so looking good. Well, no luck today. Um, did see some deer though. So two sets of uh, two sets of does for a total of four. They weren't spooked at all. Saw them from a distance. Um, I just kind of watched them. Didn't see any bucks. Got to check the cameras. Um, and there's been some bucks in the area, so good good signs. Um, we did have a pretty big storm come in the last two days and probably got like close to 30 centimeters of snow which is which is good for the tracks because they're everywhere so you can see that there's lots of deer here but um i don't know maybe it spooked them a little bit and they're just laying low and staying out of the wind today so we'll see day one still got a long month so well, tough wrap up for uh, for day one. Just spent 40 minutes digging my truck out of the, uh, the snow bank, so that was fun. But uh, back at it tomorrow, so we'll see. Feel proof for staying warm. I have underwear underneath, but it's in between I see. the underwear. Do not come back unless you have dinner. Otherwise, we'll starve. We will starve. Thank you so much. All right, well, it's November 3rd, going out for mule deer. It's cold, it's minus 15 centigrade. Um, I'm excited, excited to get out. Obviously had uh, lots of um, lots of actions on the trail cams when I went and checked them the other day. Uh, we'll see if they're where they're at in the rut here, but hope to see, uh, hope to see lots, of acti lots of activity, so. buck coming in here looks like a nice one from what i can see it might be that big five by five so we'll see definitely got four points on the on the one so we'll see hopefully he hops over that fence and, or at least keeps moving over to me that is exactly what he did after jumping the fence and making his way to the tree line he took an immediate turn and headed my way Having now watched him from 450 yards to now under 200 yards, I had plenty of time to realize this was my target buck. Oh, holy shit. That absolutely smoked that 5x5. Five five. Oh my god. 
I am shaking right now. It is 8.08. Oh, opening light where our first shot was at 8.06. Got in here about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> Saw him peek over the crest, walked right towards me. Got to about 120 yards. He had no idea I was here. Oh my God. Man, what a beautiful deer. Yeah, it's a big body. Whew. Size of this neck. Thank you, big guy. Thank you, thank you. Man. Just all his antlers are still in perfect shape. Nice clean kill. Thank you, big guy. Thank you, thank you. I am on my way to go meet up with James because he got a buck. He got a, he got a deer, he got his muley. So I'm gonna go help him gut it. Um, his dad's gonna go out too, help put it in the truck, and then we're gonna go to his parents' place because we live in an apartment and don't have a garage. And then we're gonna quarter it and butcher it and process it, I guess is the, is the word for that, so. That is all. After spending a few moments with this beautiful animal, it was time to get to work. I hiked back to the truck to free up some room out of my pack. But by the time I had returned to the kill, I wasn't alone anymore. A single coyote sat on top of the hill, staring down a free meal. I instantly regretted my decision to leave behind my rifle to shed some weight. As he howled and barked, an additional three coyotes joined his stock. Luckily, the local farmer was on his way to help haul out this deer. You can't blame these opportunistic hunters for wanting a free meal. Nothing like some free help from the, uh, the local farmers. Makes it a little easier pack out. Standing right there, yipping at me. Found him, found the target buck, first thing. Hunt opened at 8.06 and shot him at 8.08. <laughs> Unreal. Watched him come in for about 10 minutes. Walked right up, about 150 yards. Naked Shenandoah, shaking me down. Banks line with foam. I saw you trembling, all wrapped up in a towel, afraid to go home. And the sky, frozen black, covered my wayward tracks as I left to get stoned. Sap of recollection bleeds through the grain, hardens the soil. Fights of temporal infection. Now comes the fun part. Yeah. Make some jerky.
took to drinking With the hopes of getting lost When you're always losing Well, it's hard to see your wins When I start using And I'm numb again Well, I've been high all Sorry, old babe.